Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new on this channel, welcome. We are so glad to have you here. I'm gonna show you how you can create a double exposure. So without much ado, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to take off the background of your subject. So we are going to go ahead and select our quick selection tool. I'm going to go to my op menu options and I'm going to click on select subject. Now Photoshop will quickly create a selection around your subject. So I'm going to go ahead and add a layer max. So go under your layers panel and click on the layer max icon and it will basically take off the background and hide it for you. So the next thing is to add a background. You wanna go under your adjustment layer and you wanna choose solid color. Now we want something in the grayish, so we just pick something like that. Go ahead and click OK. Now we wanna move this image below our subject image so we have something like this. Now the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to right click on our image and we are going to convert to a smart object. So we basically lose the background. If you click and turn off the color fill, you see that our subject has no background and that is what we want. So I'm going to turn back on our background. Now we want to add a black and white adjustment on our image. Now when you do that, that is a non-destructive way to convert your image into black and white and I will explain that. So you want to go under your adjustment layer and you want to go ahead and choose black and white and that is basically applied to your image. Now if in the course of me working I decide that I don't want a black and white anymore, I want my image in color, all you have to do is turn off your visibility and you have your image in color and this way you are doing it a non-destructive way so i'm going to turn this back on now the image is too dark so i want to lighten it so i'm going to click on my image layer go under my image and click on adjustment and choose brightness and contrast now we just want to brighten the image so you can take it as much uh, as you want and this looks good enough and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now we want to go ahead and bring in the other image that we will infuse on this image. So click on the other image. You can just drag it in. So click on your move tool and drag and release and it will show up here. It's showing up in black and white and the reason is because that layer is below the black and white adjustment layer. So we wanna move that to the top and now we can see it in color. Now we are going to go ahead and increase our scale of the image a little. Now to, to activate your transform, you wanna click on Command T for Mac and Control T for Windows. So we are going to reduce the opacity just to make sure that our image is set in the location and it's in the right spot that we want. I'm going to create a duplicate. So Command J, make a duplicate of this layer. I'm going to turn this one off. Now with the bottom layer, we want to clip it to our um, image below. So you want to hold down options and you want to clip it to that image. Now when you clip it to that image, it still doesn't do it because our black and white is also not clipped to our image. So click on your black and white, hold down options and clip that as well. So now only the black and white in the image is being infused on your um, subject image. And click on our image and take the opacity all the way up. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that you wanna click back on your background image we want the background image to be the same color as our sky. So you want to double click on the thumbnail and it opens up the color picker. Now you can pick the sky color and you want to go ahead and click OK. Now you want to click back on your um, the tree image and you want to add a layer max. So 
go ahead and click on the layer max icon now we want to erase or hide portions of our tree with our layer max selected you want to pick up your brush tool and you want to make sure that your foreground and background are the default if they are not just click on the little icon and it will set it to default now you want to make sure that you have the black as the foreground black hide white reveals when we are working with the layer max so with your brush selected you want to go under your brushes and you want to make sure you choose a soft brush take the hardness all the way to zero now you can see your brush head if you can't see your brush head it means your cup locks is on turn off your cup locks and you will see your brush head there you go all right so the next thing is we want to uh, hide portions of our tree image so i'm going to use my left and right bracket to increase my brush head you want to make sure that you are on the layer max thumbnail and now you can go ahead and uh, erase so now we can go ahead and basically erase to reveal the face of our subject like so and I'm going to go ahead and take the the blend mode of this to lighten so we have something like that and I'm going to go ahead and move it to set it in the location that I want now we want to go ahead and turn on the other image so we want to go ahead and basically click on the top image and hold down shift and just rotate your image like that and we are going to release and move that and set that below like that so we have something just like this i'm going to move it down just a little now we want to go ahead and increase the opacity of this now you can see that now we have the sky also on the bottom. I'm going to change the blend mode of this to lighten. I'm going to click on my image and add a layer max. Now you want to pick your brush with your foreground as black. We are going to paint in this area to basically hide all the other pieces that we don't want to see. So the other, the next thing we're going to do is that we want to add a gradient map. So click on your adjustment layer, click on gradient map. Now double click and we want to go into the orange and I'm going to scroll down and these are already default. So I'm going to click on this and what I'm going to do is I need to add a few more stops in between. So I'm going to hold down my stop, holding down options. It makes a copy when, once you click on it. So I'm going to hold down options and click on my stop. Another copy options, click on my stop. I make one more. So I have five different stops right here. And I'm going to go ahead and change the first one to a darker color like that. Click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and change this one as well. So you can see that I'm just moving up in color. And I'm going to do the same thing here as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and change this one even further. So we have something like this. Click OK. Now we want to reduce the opacity of this to about a 50%. So we, you can even go ahead and type it in about a 50%. Now this is looking really good. Now, the other thing that we want to do is to add a curve adjustment. Click on curves and you can begin to play with this till you get your desired effect. Now, this is looking really good and it looks as though there is nothing on the head portion and this is just creating a very cool effect. I like that the sleeve creates uh, a division between the bottom portion and the top portion so guys i hope this was helpful please like comment don't forget to give this video a thumbs up take care of yourselves and bye y'all